Hey guys! For today's Vlogmas video, I am actually going to be doing a rat cage tour video. So I've been wanting to make one of these for a really long time, but unfortunately back at my parents' house, my rats were in a place where there wasn't an accessible plug to plug in my ring light, so the lighting was always really terrible. So, now that I am at my own house, I can finally do a rat cage tour video for you guys. So this month is December. I decided to make a Christmas themed rat cage for my boys, so that's what you're going to be seeing today. But before anything, today's video is sponsored by Carefresh, so thank you so much to Carefresh for sponsoring this video. The bedding I used today is the limited edition holiday Carefresh, which is red and green. You guys can also check out the link in the description to join Club Carefresh. Members of Club Carefresh receive exclusive coupons and offers, plus you get up-to-date information on Carefresh products, events, and more. So if you want to join Club Carefresh, make sure you click the link in the description and go check it out. And without further ado, let's get right into my rat cage tour. All right, here it is. This is the rat cage that I've been slaving over ideas for for the past week because I cannot find anything that was for small animals that was Christmas related, so it was just really a pain in the butt. So the bedding I used is obviously the Holiday Care Fresh, which is green and red, which I think ties the cage together really nicely. On the left door, I have their water bottle and this little natural wooden ledge that they like to sit on. And then when we go into the cage, I have this little treat thing that I got, and I'm not really sure if they'll figure out how to use it, but basically you like tip, well, it just worked, but you like tip it over, and treats fall through and come down in here and then if you keep tipping it they'll like either fall out or they can just like get the treats right out of there so that's new so i don't know if they will learn to use it or not and then we have this holiday rope which i drove everywhere to find it's just a bunch of dog ropes um like kind of zip tied together and it makes kind of a ledge walkway type thing and then we have this red storage container that I got from the dollar store. And I keep this in their cage normally because my finger's not a treat. What are you doing? Yeah, I know I smell like treats because I just filled it, sorry. <laughs> and so I keep this in their cage normally because they love to lay under it. They love to sleep down in the little sheltered areas on the ground. And then I have this bird ladder that I painted to look like candy cane obviously and then I have this hanging basket which I keep in there pretty much all the time I can't use fleece with them because they chew it like crazy <laughs> so I'm left to my own devices to kind of find whatever else I can work with for hammocks so it's this wire basket and at the bottom it has a little bit of um, Christmas fabric which is actually a cut up scarf from Dollar Tree and then I have another one of those right here which is just tied up that they can walk on I usually have a scarf that they walk on and or kind of like sit on. And then I have this hanging wicker basket with more fabric in the bottom. And I think it's really cute. I just have it secured with shower hooks. Then I have a wooden bendy bridge that they can, you know, either hide under as Nemo is doing. Hello, Nemo. Hello, handsome. Still not a treat. Still not a treat. You still can't eat my finger. You still can't have it. You still can't have it, goofball. I love you. I love you. And then we have my pride and joy, which I'm really proud of. This is a gingerbread house that I made out of a barn hide. The boys still haven't been up on top of it yet, so Dose is kind of checking it out. There you go. What do you think, buddy? It was the barn hide from All Living Things, I think, and I just painted it like a gingerbread house to be another hide. So this is the other door, and I have two red and green baskets with the fabric at the bottom, just for more laying area. And then for toys, I have this little red and white rope ball. I have a little green wicker ball with a bell in it. And then I have a red plastic ball that also has a bell in it. And I have this little wood chew that came off of a kebab thing. I tried to coordinate everything and only use Christmas and natural stuff in here. I think it's a tomato or an apple. I don't really know, but it's it's something. And then I have just a bunch of wood chews there you go. that they like to obviously chew on. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And then the only other thing that I put in there normally is 
when they get their vegetables. I put a bowl in for their vegetables, but I actually scatter feed them because it gives them something to do. Um, if they start figuring out how to use that, I might start putting some of their food in there. I just put treats in there to kind of try to entice them to use it more because they haven't seen it before. So hopefully they'll start to use it. Um, there's also hard water marks all over this, ignore it. I love these bedding pans a lot. Um, I really like bedding for rats because they love to dig. My rats love to dig in the bedding and it makes a huge mess and I have to vacuum every single day, but they're so worth it. They love playing in the bedding and they love nesting with it, so I think it's worth it for them. And also it's nice because I don't have to wash fleece all the time, I can just change the bedding, which I have to do way too often. So yeah, that is my boy's rat cage for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, leave it down below. If you guys have any suggestions for my rat cage, go ahead and leave it below as well, since I know this is my first rat cage tour ever. I hope to do more because I really love doing themed cages. And now that I'm in a place where I can actually plug in my ring light and get good lighting, I can do more rat cage tours. And next time I'll do the girl's cage, so it's even. But I did not have it in me to decorate both cages this time, so... <laughs> That is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Can you say bye, Parker? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Una, can you say goodbye? You're already chewing on the bendy bridge. It's so rude. Say goodbye, boys. Nemo. Say goodbye. <laughs> say goodbye. Where's Dose? Oh, he's under there cleaning himself. I won't. Sorry. That was... Okay, well goodbye everyone. All right, so that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the rat video. I love making rat videos and I feel like I don't show my little guys enough, so I'm definitely glad that I could share my love of rats with you today. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and if you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and become a member of our family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.